The aim of the fourth United Nations Conference on Least Developed Countries will be to adopt a plan of action for the sustainable development of the world's 49 poorest countries during the next decade. From the 27th to the 29th of October, UNCTAD is organising a preparatory event for the conference. The event has brought together delegates from around the world to discuss the key issue of building productive capacities in least developed countries. The outcome of this meeting would be fitting into the general conference that the United Nations uh, is organizing next year and the first part of 2011 in Istanbul in, in Turkey in support of the least developed countries. Uh, so that will be the fourth uh, conference of the kind. The first two were held in Paris in 81 in, in 91. The third one was held in Brussels in 2001 and now this is the fourth one. With this pre-conference uh, conference event, we hope to be able to address uh, the issues of uh, capacity building in a way that national economies can also learn uh, to do their own domestic mobilization of, of their own resources uh, by using the, uh, the uh, macroeconomic policies to spur investment and job creation and uh, to use government uh, uh, policies, guidelines in uh, inducing investment that will add value to their traditional uh, products. Uh, on the international plane, uh, we would also hope that the uh, uh, development partners of the LDCs would make use of this opportunity to rethink uh, their allocation of ODAs. So now we should arrest the decline and try to uh, make room for uh, another expansion of uh, the share of the uh, ODAs into the uh, productive capacity investment area. I think it is only the UNCTAD that brought the idea of productive capacity increases into the jargon of the international development, which was quite good. I mean, th th this is how it should be done. And it, it is, of course, you can have hundreds of ways of analyzing a certain uh, problem. But the main thing is to f provide an answer. And that answer, you can provide the answer, but that answer has to be pro accepted by the stakeholders, first of all, and it has to be implementable. Beginning of the 1990, we uh, liberalized our uh, modern sector of the economy, meaning trade regime, financial sector, uh, industrial uh, enterprises. Then what happened was, I mean, poverty declined, but at the same time, inequality increased. Inequality increased because there are few who could take advantage of the liberalized regime that we are operating in. Really came a time when we had to start thinking about the development dimension of the trade, how you integrate the core development issue with the trade regime. We tried to improve productive capacity in agribusiness. This year we were able to produce almost 2.8 million tons, okay? coming from about 1.5 million tons the previous year. So that productive capacity has created a new challenge, a challenge on how we can create a market. The transport cost being landlocked imposes a new constraint in terms of competitiveness. So the point I'm making, yes, increase productive capacity as a first step, then deal with the challenges that are posed by that productive capacity. To do practical things that change the environment, that change people's life. People want to be touched. People want something that makes their lives different.